New information tonight. Colorado Springs City Council just approved a bond that will quickly raise 33 million of the 55 million dollars needed to build the improved Pikes Peak Summit House. Then the city is on the hook to pay back that money with interest. Bill Folsom's in studio looking into why City Council decided on the bond rather than continue with fundraising here, Bill. Yeah, council approached this like a business decision. Lock in the needed money, then pay it back with income from visitors to Pikes Peak. With improvements to the Summit House, the visitor revenue, it should increase. Build it now or build it later. Construction of the Pikes Peak Summit House is dependent on raising $55 million. We really want to get it done in the next couple years. Savings from gate revenue, donations, and expected donations have the budget on the way to just over $20 million. Colorado Springs City Council just okayed a bond for another $33 million. It really is a way just to get projects done quickly. If we didn't have bonding money, we wouldn't be able to build this for, you know, probably another 15 or 20 years. The $33 million does have to be paid back with interest. An important factor influencing City Council's yes vote is that Pikes Peak operates in the black and that revenue can pay back the bond. It's an enterprise, it has to support itself, and it's been supporting itself well, so we have some profit. Well, let's put it into a summit house, which is very much in need of uh, renovation. Then the improvements are expected to increase revenue, which offsets even more of paying off the money. Especially if we can lock these bonds in at current interest rates. And City Council did expedite their vote on, uh, on this so that they could lock in those current lower rates.